you for tuning in with Christ International, I'm excuse me, Christ Imaging International Church. I'm your host, Tenya, and I'm joined this evening with Prophet Steve Mabua, Amen. Prophetess Lydian, Amen. Brandon, Amen. Kamisha, and our special guest, Amy. Amen. And our special audience, thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, for us. Thank, thank, you. you. thank you for tuning in with us. And we know just for tuning in that you will receive a blessing today. Yes. Right. Yes. Here at CIIC, we believe in welcoming the Holy Spirit, and we serve God in spirit and truth. Yes. Amen. Today Amen. we will be discussing the crossover night. That's right. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with Sister Kamisha. Can you tell us what crossover night means? Crossover night to me is very similar to watch night service. Um, it give up, gives us the opportunity for everyone to review the previous year, kind of uh, go into the new year, figuring out what it is that God wants to do, if they go over life for last year, and things of that nature. Okay. Brother Brandon? Well, to me, it's a Thanksgiving celebration um, that we've made it another year with the Lord on our side. Yes. And uh, we should be grateful and to express Amen. our gratitude Amen. That's Amen. Right, and cross Amen. overnight. Amen. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Prophetess? Uh, uh, thank you so much, Miss Tanya. Uh, the cross of a night for me is a shift in seasons. Oh. Yes. It's a change in the realm of the spirit. Yes. And uh, right. it's a preparation. It's a new beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when yes. I think of the cross of a night, I was thinking about it and I thought, Lord, how do I summarize the cross of a night? <clears throat> Someone who's never attended a cross of a mm -hmm. night. And that really is the person I want to speak to tonight. You know, what is the cross of a night? The cross of a night is uh, the beginning of beginnings. Yes. Amen. Amen. The cross of a night is God doing a new thing in your life. Amen. So uh, I think of the cross of a night as uh, mm -hmm. a night when God puts a crown on the year. Amen. When I read Psalm 65 and verse 11, the Bible says he crowns the year. Wow. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So he yeah. crowns the year. So there's certain things the Lord God would put on the year. Mm -hmm. So and yeah. so there's a crown that God's going to put on that year. So mm -hmm. when you're getting into a crossover, you're coming in to find out what crown the Lord is going to be putting on the year. So mm -hmm. on the cross of a night, the Lord would use his servants, you know, by sending a word. Mm -hmm. And he would speak a word through the prophet. And that word is what you want to hold on to. Praise you yes. want to continuously keep that word. Amen. You want to That's hide right. it in your heart. So wherever you go, you can overcome in the next 365 days of the wow. new year. So that is the cross of a night for me. That's Amen. good. Amen. That's good. Amen. That's Amen. Mommy, I, just to bounce off that, how important is it for people to come to the cross overnight? How important is that for our lives? And, and, and again, that's, that's, a, that's a relevant question. You know, we go to church usually um, for cross of a night because we, can't, we think of the cross of a night more like, you know, an alternative to the clubs. And again, <laughs> mm -hmm. remember, yes. you know, before you came to the church, you had a past. Mm -hmm. So yes. that is yes. your reality. So you're thinking, well, now I go to church, uh, what do I do on the cross of the night? You yeah. know, I should not be going to the clubs. Oh, that's not the way I want to end my year. Mm -hmm. What should I do? So people go to church. No. When you think of it that way, you've missed out on the relevance wow. of the cross of a night. Mm -hmm. You want to think of the cross of a night, you know, when, when you ask the question, how relevant is it? It is imperative, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, especially yes. for those who need an, a fresh start. Yeah, it's yeah. imperative That's that good. you have Amen. a cross, you be, you yeah. attend a cross of a night. Yes. Now, think of it this way. If you needed to go, I gave this example a little earlier. If you needed to go to Oklahoma from Texas, from Austin, um, how imperative is it that you be on the I-35? Yeah. That, mm -hmm. That's the way to So think of the cross of a night as a night when you find the vehicle that takes you through hey. the next Amen. 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 Yes, and I know that some people look at it as a time of doing resolutions. Yeah. They, they just feel like... Um, Going from you know one year to the next is really the meaning is just okay. I'm gonna make this resolution for my life for the next year, yes. mm -hmm. and then a lot of time it's not being uh, carried out throughout the year. What would you say to that? Thank you so much, Miss Tanya. Yet again, another relevant, pertinent, you know, uh, question. 
uh, we make New Year resolutions really because that's the norm. That's, that's the right. tradition. Mm -hmm. That's what yes. we grew up doing. Yes. We yes. know we have to say something. You yes. know, that's just yeah. that's just part of being properly mannered and getting ready mm -hmm. for the new year, right? right? But then when you become born again, there's a shift that occurs in the realm of the spirit. You go from speaking uh, empty words to speaking spirit-filled, spirit-empowered words. So Amen. in other words, uh, making a resolution that you're going to break one month later or one week later, or probably one day yeah. later. Yeah. 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 We don't really have the power. We lack the steam. We don't yes. have you know, the engine, there's nothing backing the resolutions wow. we make. As a result, they really do not last long. Amen? Yes. Yes. But now, when you receive a prophetic word mm. on the cross of a night, yes. it's more than a resolution. Mm -hmm. And as I was praying and asking the Lord, which word is going to really drive this home? He spoke to me from uh, First Timothy, and I want to give you that scripture. First Timothy chapter 1 and verse 18. And Paul was saying to Timothy, he said, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them might as well a good warfare. So the cross of a night is a night when you receive a prophecy that equips you. It gives you the wow. tools Amen. to wage yeah. war. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when that when that that when your mind you know is fighting you and circumstances in life are fighting you and resisting you know what God wants to do in your life, you're able to wage a good warfare by that prophetic word instead. Amen. Wow. Amen. Amen. I have a question for the prophet. Something that we have begun to hear a lot of as I joined CIIC is a term that just has changed my life. The realm of the spirit. Yes. Uh, the prophetess have said it so eloquently. The realm of the spirit. I don't think normal, uh, <laughs> most of us even think about the realm of the spirit, spirit versus yeah. the natural. So even when we're making our goals and our resolutions, we're not really kind of putting those two that they're two separate things and the reason that we come to crossover is because we're fighting in the realm of the spirit not necessarily in the in the natural how could you help someone that's listening right now um understand the difference and i hope that i didn't take that too deep for, for the, no, no, no. <laughs> the short period well, that we have yeah well um First of all, I want to welcome every one of you that is watching us. Uh, I want to thank you, uh, Ms. Stenia, um, Misha, Amy, uh, Brandon, and uh, my wife. Yeah. And uh, our audience out there. Yeah. Yeah. And our beautiful audience out there that are watching us from all over the world. It is my honor, it's a privilege for me to be live with you in preparation for the crossover night that is going to be taking place next week on Wednesday right here at CIIC. Mm. Yes. So if you live around Austin, around yes. the Texas yes. area, right. I want to use this opportunity to invite you because something is going to happen. That's right. Yes. My God. Oh, yes. Something is going to happen. Yes. As you look at this audience here tonight, I mean, the people out there, the panel out here, everybody is expecting, yes. everybody yes. is looking forward to this great moment. But before I get to your question, the one thing that I want to highlight, you know, with respect to the crossover, because the questions keep coming, what is the crossover night, why is it important, and all of that. You see, the crossover, and I see we're coming to the end of the year, mm -hmm. and December 31st, you see, we, we're talking about times and seasons, and we're talking about cycles here. Yes, yes. My God. So yes. we are looking, December 31st is a time, it is a season where you know a new cycle begins you know right. on the face of the earth wow. you see when you look at you know when you look at scripture you see there are defining moments you know in the scripture where god makes um, a temporary stop you know yeah. on the face of the earth mm -hmm. to change something yes. and many people have not realized that whenever you look at scripture you see there are many scriptures you know, that will tell you about this defining moment that I am talking about. And the cross overnight is one of those moments. When you look at the New Testament, the Bible says, And Jesus walked on the water in the fourth watch of the night. That was, that's a prophetic window right there. And people don't understand. Now, this fourth watch of the night, you are looking at the hours between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m. in the morning. 
Now, spiritually speaking, prophetically speaking, during the hours of 12 and 6 a.m., there is something unique that God does wow. in this earth, wow. which people wow. don't even know. <laughs> yes, that's good. And that that's is good. the reason why even people who study dreams, you see that you notice that people dream more between the hours of 12 and, yes. and 6 a.m. in the morning. Yes. That is when God's personally God comes in. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he comes in, he suspends, you know, nature. He suspends many things and he comes in and he does something new, something specific. So when you look at, you know, the cross overnight, during this period from 12 o'clock to about 6 a.m. of December 31st, breaking into the 1st of January, something happens. Mm. The clock, the spiritual clock changes as well as the natural, the chronological order of life changes. That is why it's, it marks the end of, a, of an old year and it starts the beginning of a new year. Amen. So Amen. between the conclusion of the old and the beginning of the new, that little window in between, God seizes that opportunity to do something new. He wow. changes something. That's why no two years are ever the same. Yeah. That's why no wow. two years That's are good. ever the same. Yeah. So, as, so, wow. so you want to find yourself in that window where God is going to be switching things, yes. where God is going to be changing things. And that's what we call it the cross overnight. My yes. God. That's, good. Oh, that's, good. that's what we call it the cross overnight. So as you are watching us there right now, I want you to seize that opportunity, that window of opportunity right. yes. when God is going to be changing something. Yes. Yes. Because your clock is going to be changing. Yes. Your calendar is going to be changing. Yes. Even your age is going to be oh, changing. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of things are going to be changing. Yeah. So that's to tell you that God is working. Yeah. So you want to be found in that place at that particular time when God is moving things. The Bible says in John chapter 5 concerning, you know, the angel that came to trouble the water. And there was a man who was sitting by the pool for 38 years. Yes. And this man did not make a move to enter into that window of opportunity to tap into the healing power of God that the angel brought. So that's why he stayed there for 38 years and nothing happened to him. Wow. But the Bible says anyone that keyed into that opportunity, that moment, that moment, that, that, that Kairos moment, that moment of opportunity, that moment of miracle, the moment of breakthrough, that person was healed of whatever problem that they were going through. Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what the, the crossover is. The crossover is man stepping into the spirit realm with God when God is working. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. My God. Wow. I don't know that. So, so somebody wants to be found in the cross overnight. That is why our cross overnight, we start from 10 o'clock. Uh -huh. We start from 10 p.m. Because between that 12 and 6, there's something that is there's a shift. There's yeah. something yeah. taking place. Mm -hmm. So we want to be there when God shows up. Yeah. Yeah. And yes. several people have received miracles. Yeah. Yeah. Several people have received breakthroughs during a cross overnight. Wow. 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 Well, audience, I don't know about you, but... Um, I've been in church a lot of years, mm -hmm. and I've never heard it being broke down like that. Yes. I, mean, yes. I have to be honest with you. I've never really known the meaning uh, of crossover. Wow. And I really appreciate true. you breaking it down like that. I mean, and just hearing that it will make you want to come here mm -hmm. with right. some expectancy yes. on what's yes. going to be right. right. Because right. of the story, like you said, when that angel came and that water trouble was trouble, the water. Yeah. and then, you know, it didn't make it in, I want to be there when, the, when it's going to be true. Yes. 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 Like 2019, yeah. That's I right. want something new. You want something new. Want something and new. you see, 2020, the thing that is exciting that I'm really excited about 2020 is because 2020 is also it's not just a year, but it's also a prophetic year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Because when you look at the number 2020, it's a very prophetic number in the scripture. Wow. Wow. So so wow. these are some things that we're going to be addressing during the crossover night. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are saying, those of you that are watching us now, we want you to share. We want you to invite. Yes, we want right. you to make your comments. Yeah. I see Rashida yeah. is watching. I see Janelle is watching. And uh, we want you to go ahead and keep sharing share, this because share, we, share. Yeah. yeah, just share, invite your friends. We want 
every one of you that is watching to make your way if you are around this area make your way to christ image international church somebody right. is going to be posting the address just in case and there will be a phone number also that will be posted right now right now in a minute from now the address is going to be posted the phone number is going to be posted on your screen yes. so you can start making plans to be here with us on december the 31st you see miss tena you were talking about the crossover and i think you also ask about this, you know, spiritual realm and all of that. You see, when you look at scripture, every time God wanted to do a new thing, he would tell the people to cross over. Mm. Even Jesus crossed over. In the New Testament, in the Gospel of, yes. in the gospel of Mark, you see it there, yes. Mark chapter 4, yes. and verse 35, Jesus said, after he had finished ministering to the people by the seaside, he said to the disciples, let us cross over onto the other side. Mm -hmm. I don't know if somebody has, you know, Mark, somebody can turn to Mark chapter, you know, Mark chapter um, 4, and let's read verse 35, and then uh, we are going to continue. But just in case you are tuning in tonight, I want you to know that this crossover night is going to be special. Praise the Lord. Amen. So you want to just read verse 35. And the same day from the King James. And the same day, the same day. When the evening was come. When the evening was come. He said unto them. He said to them in the evening. He said to them when? In the <laughs> evening. During the day he was busy ministering to people by the seaside. Yeah. But in the evening he said to them, let us cross, cross over to the to other, the side. other side. side. Why didn't he cross over during the day? Mm. Why did he choose to cross over at night? Mm. Mm. Wow. Now the Bible says, when the, did you finish reading it? Yes, sir. Let us cross over onto the other side. When you read this and then you read chapter 5, you are going to see over on the other side there was a man who was heavily possessed by demon spirits. Mm. So this man was sitting over on the other side for many years tormented by demon spirit. That one move that Jesus made crossing over to the other side was a God appointment. Was a God appointment for this man who had been waiting on the other side. So the crossover night is an appointed time when God temporarily steps into time and space. Wow. Wow. steps in and he changes something in somebody's life and that's exactly what Jesus did. He crossed over onto the other side and he met the man who was demon possessed and delivered the man and he moved on to his next assignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be absent when God steps in during the cross overnight. The cross overnight is not popular to a lot of people because they don't understand the spiritual significance yes. of cross overnight. Yes. Yes. But with this understanding, you want to make your way to the cross overnight. That's right. Just to bounce off my, my sister here, for anyone listening, if you have been dealing with life and it's a reoccurring thing over the course of years and you're yes. just tired of it, cross overnight is the time to come like the woman with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. Come with expectation. Come and take mm -hmm. what belongs to you to change your life. That's right. Come to Crossover to make a change. Meet God here at Crossover Night. So I yes. would say to anyone who's never experienced it, this is yes. different than what we've ever ex heard yes. in any church. Like my sister said, yes. there is a reason why we come for Crossover Night every minute. Amen. 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 So can I just prophesy before Miss Tenia takes over? Can, sure. can I prophesy to somebody? <laughs> you know, I'm watching somebody tonight, and yes. I'm watching as I'm here right now. I'm in the realm of the spirit. I'm looking at somebody. You know, right now you you may not be heavily possessed with demons like the man who was on the other side that Jesus met. But you are saying 2019 has been such a bad year for me. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait for 2019 to be over because I want to look forward to something that God, something new that God is going to do for me in 2020. Yes. Amen. I yes. prophesy into your life that may 2020 be that God appointed time for your life. Amen. May it be that God appointed season for your life. Yes. You see, seasons are important. That's because right. a season is a time of life. A season is a time of life when things change. Right. Yes. And as 2019 is ending, 
May there be a beginning of a new season in your life. Amen. A Amen. beginning of a new season in your relationships. Amen. A beginning of a new season in your marriage. A beginning of a new season in your family life. Amen. A beginning of a new season in your career. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that to somebody. You said 2019, I, I shed a lot of tears. But the Spirit of God said, I should tell you that 2020 will be a year of joy for you. Amen. 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 And I just want to say to the audience as, as we're sitting here, um, this is decision time. After we get off the broadcast and between now and the 31st, I would say look over your life for 2019 yes. mm -hmm. um, and make a decision for yourself. You know, it's a personal decision. Do you want something new in your life? That's right. Do you want to meet Jesus in a different way? Do you want to uh, go to the next level in your life? Yes. You know, we can we can be here wanting it all, for you all we want. Yes. But it's a personal decision. It is. Do right. you want it for your it life? That's do right. you want something new? Do you want something better? Do you believe that God can do, do this for you? Yes. And so we're asking that if you believe it or even if you don't believe it, Come and see what he That's has right. to offer yeah. you. That's right. Come and see what God has for you. That's we're, right. we're wanting it for you, but you're going to have to want it for yourself as well. Right. And I can Amen. tell you here at CIIC, you will receive that blessing. That's right. That's right. Yes. You come with that faith. Right. Yes. Yes. You hold on, then I guarantee you, you will receive a blessing. Yes. Amen. And Amen. on that note, I would like to introduce our special guest, Amy. Welcome, Amy. Hello. Thank you. Um, Amy attended um, CIC last year for uh, crossover night and um, with the prophet and the prophetess. And um, during that time, Amy was given a prophecy by Prophet Ambua. And um, I'm just going to let her explain to you a little bit more about that, about the prophecy that was given to you and where you stand now with that prophecy. Thank you, Tanya. Hello. 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 Welcome. I would like to share my prophecy. It was crossover night 2019. Uh, was, it was uh, 2018. It was beautiful. I was sitting in church. That's as 2018 I going into 2019. Going into yes. 2019. That's right. Yes. 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 And I remember excusing myself. I was, um, I went to, I went somewhere. And as I stood up, the prophet pointed me out in front of everybody. You. <laughs> I was scared. I said, what did I do? What's wrong? He told me, he said, you will be going back overseas. Wow. wow. I wanted to go back overseas for the last two years to teach English. And I had been praying to God, to the good Lord, with, for for some help, for some spiritual guidance. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, during the year 2019, we crossed over. I had some health problems. The health problems had been taken care of. I gained some skills in teaching ESL to adults as a volunteer and at Austin Community College. And I was introduced to a recruiter online. I had been in touch with him off and on since April. And sure enough, uh, the time came to submit an application. That was in August, September. And December 16th, I had a Skype interview. It was December 16th this yes, year. of this year. And everything went through really smoothly. Um, and uh, December 18th, 1.30 a.m. in the morning, the Holy Spirit woke me up. Read your email. I jumped out of the car. Jumped out. I said, okay. I was scrolling through, and sure enough, I saw my recruiter had emailed me, and I have an employment offer, and I accepted. Oh. Hey. 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 I would like to ask you, um, you were saying that you wanted to go overseas. Can you say, um, let us know where overseas you wanted to go, and um, on your prophecy, was it you know given to you where you would be going back? You're saying you wanted to go back, so where where were you? I was in South Korea already for two years, okay. and I came back, and uh, the prophet did share with me, I will be going back 
to Korea. Mm. Wow. Yes. And that he it's said in the church it was it was prophetic accuracy. Yeah. That's for sure. Amen. Yes. And Amen. sure enough, um I will be going back in February of twenty twenty. And um uh let's see, what else? I'm s- During that time you you were you were given the prophecy and, and it's been almost a year. Yes. And you just received your answer. How did you feel uh, during that time because of the time frame or the length? Did you, you know, start not believing what uh, the prophet said? Did the enemy start getting in your head or getting involved? I heard you say you had some health issues because we know how he liked to work on us and That's yes. true. make us start mm-hmm. doubting God's word mm-hmm. and, and uh, you know, God's servant. So um, mm-hmm. can you expand yes. on that, please? I had a lot of attacks um, from the devil and with, with a lot of faith a lot of perseverance. I meditated on God's word. Amen. The Amen. I used the oil and water, which I received from CIC. The oil and water, it works. Amen. Amen. I sprayed Amen. The, I did exactly as instructed. I sprayed the water in my face, the oil in the mouth all the time. And a precious gift earlier this year, the talit. It Amen. is to me yes. every time when I put the talit over my head, I feel a warmth. That just presence comes out of, of nowhere. That's yes. The presence yes. of God right there. I get real emotional. Mm-hmm. Over the last several weeks, I've grown maturely and spiritually, and I'm, I feel as if I'm going through a spiritual cleansing. So with the with constant prayer, the more you meditate on God's word, the more you 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 see that people in the Bible they have the same attacks. Mm-hmm. The, the challenges and experiences right. may be different. And I always looked at the Job in the book of Job. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, he waited 77 years. So I figured, well, wow, with my one year, that's really not a big deal. Yes. So, so yeah. if Ms. Daniel will allow me to ask a question. So yes. what are you are saying to our audience tonight and to those that are watching us is that the crossover night worked for you. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. It was That's critical. Mm-hmm. And I started not to come. Oh, it's just another service. Mm-hmm. No, it was a different service. Yes. Mm-hmm. It was That's uplifting. Good. It was pr- prophetic. And I was ready for 2019. Mm-hmm. It was yes. truly the year of angelic invasion. So, so yeah. what else did you see apart from your miracle? Did you see other people receiving miracles? Did you see prof? What else did you see happen in that particular crossover? And how different was it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, I, I did see, people did receive miracles. Uh, there were um, uh, prophecies. 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 Mm-hmm. There was a lot of prayer. It was a lot of empowerment mm-hmm. uh, that things can happen if mm-hmm. you just sit and be still. Yes. Wow. That's true. Yes. 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 Wow. You spoke That's good. Yes, after you, Commissioner, go ahead. Sister Amy, you spoke the, spoke about the water and the oil. Yes. I know that um, some of us as believers don't truly understand the significance of the water of the oil. And some may say it doesn't work. What would you say to that for people who are questioning the water and the oil? It's a combination of using the water and oil with faith. Amen. You have to have an inner belief, faith That's right. that mm-hmm. it will work. That's Amen. right. Yes. Yes. And yes. as you as you spray the water, yes, this will come to pass. Mm-hmm. You, I, I say prayer. I, I speak. Believe and receive. Believe and receive. Mm-hmm. I, I I've learned to not pray in such a a quiet, solemn mood. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work like that. Prayer yes. has to be. You have to take things by force. Amen. 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 So you see, let, let me throw in a little bit of light here. You see, when, you know, like you're asking about the water and the oil, maybe somebody's watching and they're like, what is this water? What is this oil? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see, you see, these are tokens. And, and, and throughout scripture, tokens have been used, you know, for, you know, to perform miracles. For example, in the book of Acts, the Bible says, you know, handkerchiefs and aprons, you know, mm-hmm. You know, Paul used handkerchiefs and aprons and people were healed and evil spirits came out of people. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Now, when you look at water, we just talked about, you know, the gospel of John where the angel came to stir water. The Bible says in the book of Psalms that water, the voice of the Lord is upon the water. Mm-hmm. Now, so these tokens, when they are used in faith, miracles always happen. Mm-hmm. They are symbols. 
they mean a lot. They have spiritual, you know, connotations, yes. you know, that go with them. For example, water. Water is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Mm. And, and yes. water represents God. Because wow. one of the things that the Bible is, has not really said anything about is the creation of water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody ever mm -hmm. seen when water was created. Yeah. All wow. we know in the book of Genesis, the wow. Bible says in the beginning, that's good. In the beginning, <laughs> God created the heavens yes. and the earth. Yes. And the earth was without form and void. Yes. And darkness was upon the face of the deep and you know of the waters. Yes. And the spirit of God moved on the waters. Yes. So yes. so so water is one of those things that the scripture is very silent about. The scripture didn't wow. say wow. when wow. and how water was created. Wow. Wow. Yes. Oh so there's a wow. deep mystery surrounding water. Yes. Now Today people say that water is life, but, but people don't know that it's, it's, it's beyond the natural, just simply saying water is life is not enough because water is more spiritual than, than the way we look at it. Yeah. And, and that's a whole teaching all by itself. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if, somebody, yeah. if somebody is yeah. to apply yeah. faith Come on. and use the water as directed by the prophet, yeah. something is going to happen. We have countless testimonies in yeah. this ministry yeah. of how people have been healed. And one of the fastest ways to usher in people's miracles, we have seen water used here in the ministry and people delivered, yeah. people healed. I mean, your mother, your mother is, is, I mean, we're going to have your mother on this show one of these days. Yes. So to share her testimony, Amen. how she was Amen. here. You remember how your, you want to tell the audience, how did your mother come to this ministry? Because what I remember is that she came in a walker. And yes. what happened wow. after that? She used the water faithfully and religiously. Uh, faithfully, day. you want to say faithfully. religiously. <laughs> 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 You know, she, your mother came into this church, you know, in a walker. And when she went back and she was healed, were you surprised? I was. She was no longer using a walker. Uh, she continued to use the water. Uh, and today yes. she's and, healed. And, today she's, and healed. She, she's perfectly yes. well. She's and she walks well. by herself yeah. without the help of a walker. Yeah. Somebody put yeah. your yeah. 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 So out, one of these days we're going to have your mother come on this show to share her testimony Amen. by herself. Amen. But again, that is to say we have seen miracles yes. happen. Yes. Now when we take these tokens and we pray over them, even this piece of paper I'm holding, I can pray over this piece of paper right now and I send it to somebody and they're going to be healed. Yes. What oil, what does oil represent? Oil represents the Holy Spirit. And that's why in the book of James, the Bible says, if somebody is sick, the elders of the church can, should come around them. They should call for the elders of the church, rather. Let them pray over them, anointing them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will heal the sick. Yes. And if they've committed any sins, their sins will be forgiven. So just for, so that somebody that is watching us out there, you say, I have a problem. I need a, an urgent miracle in my life. You can call our office. The number is there on the screen. If yes. it's not there, somebody's going to post it right now. Mm -hmm. You can call our office. You can ask. It's called the Miracle Water of Life. And the oil is called the Oil of Majesty. You can request for the Miracle Water. You can request for the Oil of Majesty. And God will do miracles in your life. Yeah, that's, yeah. thank you, yeah. thank you. Amen. So that's your miracle water of life right yes. there, and that's your all of majesty right Amen. there. Amen. This group means empowerment tokens Amen. that God is using to do miracles in people's lives. Amen. You want to ask Amy a question? Yes. I was going to ask Amy a question. I was going to talk about the miracle water of life and Go the ahead. Of majesty. You see, tough problems uh, require tough uh, solutions. Yes. Every time you have a tough problem, you need some tough solutions. Yes. Uh, like Misha asked earlier, she said, you know, we always pick reference to the realm of the spirit, the realm of the spirit, the realm of the spirit. And uh, that's something that's not the average believer's reality. The, the believer is supposed to be living in the realm of the spirit and having uh, physical manifestations. But because most people uh, do not even know the ABC of walking and living in the realm of the spirit, God gives tokens, and these tokens come to help take them out of their tough problems. Amen? Amen. Amen. So um, I, would, I 
would want to throw in this anecdote. You know, it's from, um, it's a story told by uh, Reinhard Bonke. As a matter of fact, this was an answer to a question. And evangelist Reinhard Bonke, who's just gone home to be with the Lord, you know, answered the question in this manner. They asked, they said, uh, people say women uh, should not preach the gospel because Paul said women should not preach the gospel. And uh, evangelist Reinhard Bonke uh, answered in this manner. He said, uh, supposing you were drowning and you were in this deep, deep ocean and you could not swim. And a woman uh, who's a good swimmer shows up uh, and she reaches out and she says, come on, give me your hand. I'll help you come out and you don't have to die. Are you going to say, no, I'm going to die because you're a woman trying to help me? Yeah. Or are you going to reach out and you're going to mm. take her hand and you're going to let her pull you out because she's that's a good right. swimmer? That's right. And that settled the matter. So the reason we still have issues with the tokens, you know, the miracle water of life and the oil of majesty is really because we have not encountered tough problems. Yeah. But wow. the day you encounter a tough Amen. problem, I want you to remember oh. the tokens are still yeah. here. Hey. Hey. Uh, Sister Amy, one year ago, you received the prophetic word. You had no teachings whatsoever on the prophetic. This was really um, your first encounter with the prophetic church. And yes. um, you were meeting these people who have an accent, all right? Um, prophet has an accent. It's different from yours. But there was something that um, you did. You believed the word that he was giving you, and uh, that word has worked for you. What would you say to someone watching us this evening who's got difficulties believing uh, a man of God who has an accent? Who's got difficulties believing a man of God because they don't know him? Who's got difficulties, you know, receiving the miracle because they just think, oh, I don't know if I can relate with him, I don't know if I can connect. What would you say to someone like that? Based on the experience that I have uh, living abroad, we all have challenges. I think accent is just a distraction. Mm. Yes, yes, that's true. Wow, that's right. that's right. yes. it, but the message of Holy Spirit empowerment, it's the same. It doesn't matter whether if they come from a different country, mm -hmm. if they speak a different language. Mm -hmm. uh, while living overseas, I felt the same kindred spirit. I felt the same presence of God. So I knew that these people were just like me. They prayed just like I did, and they had the same faith. It Amen. does so. It it doesn't matter. And periodically, I've always heard the Holy Spirit just sit back and just listen to the message. Wow! wow. 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 So, so your message to someone on this broadcast is the same one the Holy Spirit gave you. Yes. Just sit back and listen to yes. the message. If you ever had any doubts whatsoever about a Christ Image International Church, mm -hmm. if you ever had any doubts about the servant and the angel of this house, just sit back and Amen. listen Amen. to Amen. the message. That's right. That's right. That's, right. That's, right. That's, right. That's, right. That's powerful there, Prophet. That's powerful. Because um, I can say that a lot of people fear what they don't know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, yes, and yes. you know, when you talk about prophetic or prophet or prophecies, um, the first thing that people want to go to is a uh, false prophet. That's yes. true. And you know, exactly. and they want to judge even yes. before coming in. Mm -hmm. wow. yes. They haven't mm -hmm. even given it a chance. When they just hear that, it's, it's a turn off. Yes. And that's because um, of, you know, stigmas or, or whatever's mm -hmm. out there. But I can honestly say for me, coming in and the way you guys broke down the word. I oh, mean, yes. I mean yes. every, every oh, yes. couple of words you, you expounded on. Yes. Yes. Just, yes. just yes. really breaking down oh, the yes. word. So I knew that no, they, they are truly, you know, in this Bible and they and, right. and you right. encourage us yes. to bring yes. our Bible. Right. Right. Yes. Yes. Right. 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 Just to look at it for ourselves. For ourselves. Yes. Yes. Right. You want Research. us to get yes. it for ourselves, yes. to yes. pray over ourselves. And I can say this is a very praying church. Yes. 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 I mean, we pray, we pray, and we pray. Yeah. You know, um, I, I visit.
churches and Catholic churches and everything before and all the standing up and down. And But I mean, you know, and I really appreciate it because yeah. what I've learned is that you guys are teaching us to pray over ourselves yeah. and be specific in yes. our prayers. Yes. Not just yes. rambling and not just yes. but we We're specific about everything that we're praying mm -hmm. for and we're expecting God to answer. Mm -hmm. We're coming in with expectancy yes. and having right. the faith that God is going to do what he said that he would do. We talk about um, um, what God, you know, tells us his his um, what about look the word I can escape me his promises. That's yes. right. We talk about the promises and everything, mm -hmm. but do we really believe those promises? Yes. Sometimes we're just saying you promised this, but we, there's things that we have to do as well. That's right. Yeah. You know, yes. there's things we have to. We just want to um, sit back and receive, but so there's there conditions. There's yes. conditions. Yes. Thank you to the, to the promises. To the promises. There's conditions wow. to the promises. Yes. And so, as I said, if you have any doubt, any question, just come and see. That's Don't right. let the enemy stop you from coming to see for yourself. Yes. Wow. Have your own mind. Don't let anyone deter you. Because when we get to the gates, we're yeah. going to all have to stand in That's division. Right. Yes. Yes. It's not going to be that That's mother, right. father, husband, mm -hmm. sister, That's brother. Right. We're going to all have to stand and answer. Mm -hmm. And I just say that to anyone out there, if you haven't met the prophet or the prophets, they're the most loving yes. couple. Yes. 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 They are yes. the heart of God. Yes. It's yes. a servant family. Yes. yes. I am truly blessed to be to have been led here. Yes. And very thankful yes. to sit under the prophet and the prophets. Amen. Yes. And, um, Amen. And so Amen. Go ahead. I feel compelled as well to to share the same message. Yes. Um because there's so many so many ideals that are that are about C I I C and the yes. prophet and prophetess. I want to say I I was really faced with I never thought I was religious <laughs> until yes. I made the CIA. Yes. And I started to to feel this this pull for things that I used to crave in other churches and used to have to make me feel like I was in church. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then the Lord I, I, as I came every Sunday and Wednesday and the word lined up in every Everything. single way the Lord began to speak to me about my religious mm -hmm. spirit like you I said, oh, I think I have a little bit of religion in me. Like, I'm a little bit religious because it didn't look like, it didn't sound like, it didn't feel like. But what I can say is, thank God it doesn't. Because right. I've seen miracles, right. signs, and wonders. Yes. That's right. God is the same yes. yesterday, Amen. today, and yes. forever. Yes. Ever. And if you want to see something powerful, if you want to see a move of the Spirit... This is a place for that. Yes. Stop yes. going towards what is traditional, mm -hmm. yes. what, yes. Is right, yes. what you're used to. God is, he's, he was never the same in the scriptures. Mm. We, we, he never did the same thing mm -hmm. all the mm -hmm. time. So for us to crave the same thing is a little bit not yes. normal anyway, yes. you know. Yeah. So. And well, I just want to piggyback off of what uh, Sister Tenya just uh, spoke about. Uh, I was sharing with a sister from the church earlier today my first uh, time visiting the church, um, <coughs> when I walked in the church, everybody was praying. And uh, I typically, you don't see that. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody was just, you know, praying and, and speaking in tongues, praying in tongues. And, and uh, the prophet started to preach. I was sitting in the back row taking notes. And the prophet started to preach and... I just thought to myself, this is a secret. Like, I felt like I had a secret. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I told my wife, I said, I don't think the rest of the world knows what's going on here. Yes. And I felt like people needed to know. Yes. Uh, because it's not church as usual. That's right. No, that's, that's right. right. That's right. Really that's right. You know, and I just want to also wanted to thank uh, Sister Amy yes. for sharing her testimony. Yes. Amen. But, but more importantly, sharing what to do while you wait. Yes. 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 Right. Because, because that's, that's where the challenge is. Yes. You know, you receive the word, you're excited, now what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Because it doesn't happen the following, it may not happen the following day, so what to do while you wait? Yes. And, and what she said is, she kept believing. Yes. Wow. Right. She used the tokens. Wow. Yes. And that's she right. kept her faith. Wow. Uh, and, you know, for me, that's what's needed. You got to keep the faith while you wait. Wow. Yes. We this live is... in a microwave, excuse me, we live in a microwave society. <laughs> that's, that's right. right. That's 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 right. So, you know, that that was good, you know, in the waiting because we don't want to wait for anything these days. We want everything in a hurry. Yes. Right. And, and uh, not to not to cut you short, the uh, the commission, Miss Tanya, 
We want things and God wants to give us those things. Mm, that's right. Everything you want, God wants to give you those things. That's why he says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added wow. unto you. So he's got yeah. all these things he wants to give you. He really does. Yeah, and for the yeah. most part, we are so entangled with tradition mm. that we have become traditional yeah. and all our problems are sticking with us with the gum of tradition. Mm. So what you really want to do is you want to shake off that gum so mm. they can, you know, wow. just lose you you know and into your next level yeah. and that's what we are trying to do here we're trusting God to yes. bring you to a place where you can walk in everything he's Amen. promised you and you can come sit with us on this platform yeah. and join the band of yeah. those yeah. Yeah. God wants to give us those things that we want yeah. and he, he we are actually tired of you know kind of spinning our wheels yes. in the same place. Yes. we yes. really want results don't yes. we do yes. Yes. So, yeah you wanted to say something no, we, we, we do mom I just read that scripture the other day seek ye first the, the kingdom and, and, and you know when I read it I said wow Seek one thing and he'll add everything. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times we put the cart before the horse. And yeah. we, 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 know, we don't want the relationship. We only want the gifts. Mm. That's right. Yes. You know, well, we, we don't want to. Like we want the relationship. Well, we don't want to know you. We just want to know what can you do for me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. That's true. Uh, that's you know, true. And, yeah. and that's why it doesn't work. That's right. You know, and, yeah. and people say, well, why, why isn't it working? Because you're not seeking a relationship. You're not mm -hmm. seeking the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. first. Yes. Wow. So, yes. I, I, go ahead, Papa. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're excited. I, I'm <laughs> no, no, I'm excited too. Especially that, that the crossover is coming. Yes. Yes. And I'm seriously yes. looking forward to this crossover. Yes. 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 So for every one of you that is joining us tonight, I want you to invite your friends, invite your families. Uh, regardless of how difficult, how, challenges, how challenging times have been for them and whatever problems they are dealing with, I want you to make an appointment, you know, um, to be part of this um, crossover night. You see, when we talk about prophecy, prophecy is a word of God in season. It's a word of God for time and for eternity. Mm. And, and you see, every prophecy has a time of fulfillment. Yes. So the mistake that people make is they can attend, you know, the cross overnight, receive a prophecy mm -hmm. and disappear. Yes. Yes. I mean, I can yes. tell you how many people have prophesied over right here, even right here yes. in CIC, but they don't have the patience to nurture. Yes. They don't have the patience, you know, to wait for the yes. fulfillment of the prophecy. Mm -hmm. They don't have the faith mm -hmm. even to believe and to wait. You see, God gave Abraham a prophetic word concerning Isaac's birth. Mm -hmm. And Isaac was only born 25 years after wow. this prophecy was given. Wow. He had to wait, wait. for this yes, prophecy to be fulfilled. Yes, he stayed with God. He stayed in God. So today, a lot of people don't want to stay in God. Mm -hmm. They just want a word and they run with the word. Look at the mm -hmm. prophecy of Jesus. The prophecy of Jesus took over 700 years yeah. To come to pass. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. But somebody had to be faithful. Yes. People had to be praying. People had to be yes. waiting. Yes. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, right. so that is something that people miss. Wow. So as you are coming for the cross overnight, yes. a prophecy may be given to you on yes. the cross overnight. Yes. I mean, during the cross overnight yes. service. But the question is, what do you do with the prophecy? Yeah. Wow. And that is what, um, you know, my wife, you know, quoted when she read from the book of Timothy, or Paul was saying, use the prophecies to wage a good warfare. Mm -hmm. So, Amy, you received the prophecy and your prophecy was tested. Yes. Mm -hmm. Things came your way. Your prophecy was tested yes, because yeah. the prophecy was that God was going to take you back overseas yes. to where you have been believing God to go. Yes. But now, between the prophecy and the fulfillment of your prophecy, other things began to happen. Your health came under attack. Your career came under attack. Yes. Many things yes. around you, relationships, yes. many things came under attack. Yes. But you persevered. You stayed yes. in the word. You stayed in prayer. Yes. You attended all the services. You followed through with the instructions. And this yes. is December 2019. Just before the next crossover, yes. your miracle happened. Yes. My God. Thank you, I am excited because yes. now on this crossover 2019, you have a story to tell. Yes. Yes. I do. Thank you. Amen. Oh, somebody Amen. put your hands together for the Lord. This is, this is wonderful. You see, 
she waited. I mean, there are several people who received prophecies like you on night. on that same night. Yes. But who never stayed and they don't even have a story. They don't have a testimony. Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it because even prophecy, prophecy, you know, you you have to feed the prophetic word yes. with the word wow. of God. Yes. 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 For, wow. for uh, those who need um, some more visual, you know, imagery, they need some clearer pictures, all right? Prophecy is like a woman who conceives. You cannot see the bomb, but she's conceived. Yes. Wow. That's right. And you cannot have a microwave baby. You probably can have everything else that's a microwave baby. You can't have microwave babies. I, I, I haven't seen one. I hope they don't create no, one. No. All right. So she, you don't see anything, but there is a baby. Amen. Yeah. So then that woman is going to go through the seasons. Process, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And she will wait for the fullness of time for this prophecy to manifest. Mm-hmm. Yes. Amen. So Amen. prophecy is God telling you there is something big. Wow. Yeah. So that during this time, during this process, exactly. this this time this period, you you know, you have to be in church. Do you, do? You, yes. you have to spend time in the Word. You have to yes. spend time in prayer. You have to yeah. be faithful. Yeah. That's right. You know, you, you know, you, you, you know. You have to be covered. You have to be covered. Yeah. That's yes. right. Yes. And you don't have to speak negative you words, contrary words. You have to be covered. You don't have to be con- speak yeah. contrary yes. words. That's yes. why you speak talked about right. pregnancy. Yes, sir. When a woman is pregnant, they say she's expecting. She's expecting. Now, yes. expe- wow. that word you see to expect means wow. of a positive mindset. Right. Yes. Wow. Because wow. if a woman is expecting, Expect is pregnant and she has all this negative thing about her <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> this negative thing about her negative thing about her pregnancy this expectation may not come to it pass may it and, may be cut and, off and also and also and that's where rejection and all of these things come in where a children a child is born and then they say this child is a product of rejection because she was wow. rejected from the womb exactly wow. exactly wow. And, 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 and a woman who is expecting has to be careful who she surrounds herself That's with. Right. Because mm-hmm. you might be expecting, but you're around people. I was dealing with a case of a young woman, you know, who said I was expecting and the people around me were asking me to get rid of it. My so God. that's the company. So you have this prophetic word and you have all these people who are talking you out of it. And they're telling you out, out of the prophecy, out of, out of the, prophecy, the church. Out of yes. the church. They're trying to out disconnect you out of the yes. spiritual yes. covering exactly. of the man of God. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Wow. Yes. So, they, yes. so they, they're trying to talk you out of this. So there's an expectation, but they know they cannot get rid of your gift. You are the only one who can get rid of your gift. So they need to talk you to a place where you decide, I don't want this gift. I don't need this gift. I need to get out of this covering so that I don't have, mm, I don't know who I'm talking to. But you need a prophetic word with which to wage a good warfare. 2020 is going to be a year with a crown. Do you know which crown to be? That's going to be the crown. When, when people are speaking against your pregnancy, the different changes you go through. You go through physical change, you, you go do. through mental change. So all the things you, you wage during that nine months of expectancy, how vulnerable you can become to yes. listening to what the enemy mm-hmm. is trying to tell you to, to make the wrong decision. That's right. Wow. That's right. That's why the covering is important. Yes. Yes. So uh, so that's not in any, in any way to say that you know you should do this or you should do that, but that's just to give you the tenets and show you how to protect the prophetic word because that, that, that prophetic counts. word exactly yes. when that prophetic word comes, you want to hold on to it because that prophetic word is taking you to a good good future. So, now, so you are talking about the prophecy that people are going to be receiving on, on the, the cross, cross of our night. night. So yeah. when the, the prophecy the, comes, what should they do? On. When that prophecy comes, there are a number of things you want to do. We're going to talk about them. We'll touch a little on those things. But just to highlight, once that prophecy comes, you want to take it, you want to hide it in your heart. Amen? Amen. Take that prophetic yes. word and hide it in your heart. The Bible says when, when uh, Mary heard the things that Jesus was going to be, she took those words and she hid them in her heart. She yes. did not talk about them. Mama, Koto, with the wrong people. Yeah. She with did the wrong not. People, she did right. not. Yeah. She 
it did not. So you want to take that word and hide it. We're going to prepare you on what to do with the prophetic word. But I want to invite you to be a part of transforming lives. We are gathered together on this platform as men and women who want to transform lives. Yes. The crossover night is going to be a life transforming night. It's going to be the most wonderful yes. night Amen. of the yes. year. You yes. don't want to miss right. it. Yes. Wow. As you just heard, crossing over to a new year is an important event. And so we need to spend some time reflecting on our past and um, planning the future. That's right. So there are five things that we should do. Um, the following five things we should do when we cross over to New Year. And uh, Father, we're going to ask you too, if you could go over those with us, please. So thank you, um, Sister Tana. Thank you. Thank you. Um, five things that... Um, you know, we want you to do to prepare yourself as we cross over, and they're going to be coming from the book of Joshua, chapter 3, from verse 1 to 5, and verse 10. Mm. So do you want to just read verse 1 uh, for me, please? Yes, sir. Joshua, so the first thing is found in verse 1. Joshua, chapter 3, and verse 1, And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim, and came to Jordan, he and all the children of Israel, and Lord there before they passed over. Before they passed over. So you see that Joshua had a task ahead of him. Yes. Joshua was appointed by God to lead the children of Israel to cross over Jordan into mm -hmm. the promised land, mm -hmm. the land that God had promised to them. So that is what I'm saying to you again. Whenever God wants to move, there is something that some that you have to cross over yes. to get to the new thing that God is promising you. My right. God, my yes. God. Right. And so Joshua had to take over this responsibility from his mentor, Moses, who had failed to take the children of Israel into this promised land for 40 years. But you see, what they had to do was that they had to cross over Jordan. The word Jordan means to flow. It means to flow, flow down. Amen. So when we talk about crossing over night, we are talking about a night where we flow with God. Amen. A night wow. where we flow with the Holy wow. Spirit. Wow. So that is the meaning of Jordan. It means to flow. Wow. And you see, you were talking about the realm of the Spirit earlier on. You cannot move, you cannot enter into the realm of the Spirit. You cannot benefit from the realm of the Spirit if you are a type of person who does not flow easily. Mm. What does it mean to flow? To flow means to align. Wow. So just when flow. the yeah, you have to flow. Just we we flow. flow with the Holy Ghost. Like a river. Just yeah, flow. just flow yeah. like a river. Yeah. Don't ask questions. Don't doubt. Just believe and flow. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's what faith is all about. Yeah. You, wow. We just flow with God. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. We just flow with God. Yeah. So that is the meaning of Jordan. So they have to cross over. They have to flow. Mm -hmm. You know, with God. To step into the promised land. Mm -hmm. So right now we are in 2019. 2020 is a promise. Yes. Yes. It's not yet here. Yes. So but for us to step into the 2020. We have to flow with God. Mm -hmm. And that is why we come together for the cross overnight. To say God what do you have for me in 2020. Mm -hmm. That is why we set spiritual goals and we also set natural goals. Jesus had a goal for going over onto the other side according to Mark chapter 4. And his goal was to go and deliver a demon-possessed person. Mm -hmm. God had a plan for the children of Israel over on the other side called the promised land. That's why they had to cross over Jordan to get there so they can enjoy the promise and the, you know, whatever God had for them. Amen. So when we read that scripture again, you see that they have to pass over. So the first thing that you have to do to cross over is that you have to have some goals. Mm -hmm. You have to have some goals. Amen. Last year crossover, we had people write down their goals, their mm -hmm. spiritual goals mm -hmm. and their natural goals. We have received countless testimonies of people. Even my daughter was speaking to me this evening. She said to me, Daddy, all the seven things that I wrote during the crossover night have been fulfilled in 2019. Wow. My God, can we Thank give the you. Lord Jesus? Yeah. 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 And these were things 
these were things. So I'm jump, jumping in the prophet to say these were things. Many times people think of, um, no, uh, when we speak of going to church, we're talking about spiritual aspect. No, these were things, tangible things. Mm -hmm. I'll name just a few. One of them was that she would uh, be able to go to Oral Roberts University. She's been admitted to Oral Roberts University. Nice. She's been given scholarships mm -hmm. and she's going Amen. into Oral Roberts Amen. University. Amen. 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 Was that she will get a, a MacBook? She got a MacBook oh, by faith. Yeah. By faith. Yeah. The other thing was that she would get beats. Oh. Yes. Yes. I'm talking about things, yes. tangible things mm -hmm. that young people can. Miss Catherine, I was just a surprise. I thought beats. What are beats? <laughs> what beats? But I know beats now because yes. a child came to God and she said, Lord. I believe you for beats. You but again, you see, as simple, as simple, simple, sorry, as simple right. as these things might simple. be, my yeah. sound, yeah. but you see, that is somebody's yeah. faith. That's yeah. a child's yeah. faith. Yeah, that, that's a level that's of the child's, child's faith and understanding. Child's faith and understanding. So we don't know what you are believing God for. Exactly. Maybe you are not believing God for beats. You're not believing God for MacBook. Right. Maybe you are believing God for a house. You are right. believing God for a car. Right. Maybe you are believing God for marriage. You are right. believing God for children. Yes. The same faith with which the child received the beat and the MacBook. Same book. That same you. faith is going to produce the results Amen. that you are expecting from the world. So the first thing is you have to set goals. Set you goals. cannot cross over onto the other side without goals. Yeah. You see, a lot of people live goalless lives. You know, just wow. like, okay, well, yeah. whatever will be, will be. Now, in the things of God, in the realm of the Spirit, we don't work like that. Even yeah. faith yeah. don't work like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's why Jesus said, if you have faith, you shall say to this mountain. So there has to be a mountain. Yes. And you have to see that mountain and you have to address that mountain. So going into 2020, we're not talking about wishful thinking, you know, yeah. like people. We're talking about setting spiritual goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I just wow. uh, step in really quick. Um, I was reading something a while back about the, uh, an archery uh, master. The guy, he, what he would do is take bow and arrows and hit targets. And he could stand, you know, maybe like a couple hundred yards away and hit the target dead in the middle. Dead center, and he was so good that he can take another arrow and split that one in the middle. Wow. He was that good. But if you blindfolded him and split him around a few times, he would not be able to hit that target. Mm. It's the same as having how can you hit a goal that you do not have? That's yeah. right, that's right, that's right. So you got to set goals. That's the moral of that story. You have to set goals. Man. Man. Wonderful. Man. Thank, Man. You. Thank you. So the question tonight is for our viewers what are your goals for 20? 20. Mm. Five things that you do to prepare yourself for the crossover. Number one, set your goals. And that's why I did mention that everybody, take a piece of paper, write down all the things that you don't like in 2019, mm -hmm. and write down on the right-hand side all the things that you want to see God do for you in 2020, mm -hmm. and bring that piece of paper with you to the crossover now. Yes. Miracles are going to be happening yes. at the crossover. Yes. 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 That little yes. window, my God, yes. that little window in there when God temporarily steps in, oh, He will wow. address all those things that yes. you have written down. Yes. Number two, wow. as you prepare to cross over, you prepare to cross over with the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And that is what Joshua chapter 3 and verse 3 is talking about. Mm -hmm. Prepare. The Bible talks about the, them crossing over. And God said that when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord, you are God. And the priest, the Levites, bearing it, wow. then you shall set out from your place and go after it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Go after the presence of God in 2020. Yes. Follow the presence of God. Follow the presence of God. I remember when Saul was anointed the first king of Israel, the prophet Samuel prophesied to him, say, you shall see a man bearing a pitcher of water, follow him. Mm. That's the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Follow him. So God is saying to them, the Ark of the Covenant was a little box that contained the presence of God. So the Levites, the priests, the prophets, you know, they carry the presence of God. So that's what is going to be happening. That's why there's an evangelist coming from India. Mm -hmm. This evangelist oh, yeah. is going to be ministering together with myself 
on this cross overnight. God uses him in miracle signs and wonders. Yeah. He moves yeah. in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So together with him, we are going to be ministering at this cross overnight. Yeah. So it's going to be a very big event right here at CIC. Yeah. So I want to invite you to follow the presence of God. Don't follow family, friends. Don't follow things out there. Follow the presence of yeah. God. What if, I mean, the best place for you to be that night of the 31st is to be in the presence of God. Yeah. So prepare yourself and say, Lord, I want to be in yeah. your presence. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And number three, it's found in Joshua 3 and verse 4. Cross over with urgency. Mm. Wow. That's what the Bible says that yet there shall be a space between you and the, and the Ark of the Covenant. About 2,000 cubits by measure. So there's going to be a little distance between you and the presence of God. But you know what? Go after it quickly. Wow. Go after it quickly. We talked about a man who failed to jump in the water yeah. Yeah. for 38 years. Yeah. He, That's right. I mean, that man never took first ever in his life. He was never the first. That's why, because the Bible says anyone who jumped in first. So he was not quick. That's why I tell people the things of the realm of the spirit are very fast. Yes. You can call it witchcraft. You can call it anything you want to call it. But the realm of the spirit is very fast. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. The realm of the spirit is very fast. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Something just, just um, impressed in my heart. And I feel that someone needs to hear this. Mm -hmm. Joshua chapter 3 and verse 4. And that's prophecy, really. Yeah. That what, that's what it boils down to. It will be different from anything you, ha you are accustomed to. Yeah. Wow. The Bible says in verse 4, it says, you have not passed this way before. You have not passed this way before. That's words, right. That's right. Wow. In other words, something is going to happen at the cross of a night that you have not experienced wow. before. But you see, that's what Miss Tania said mm -hmm. earlier. She says that what people don't know. They are afraid. People are afraid of something they don't know. They don't want to participate. They don't want to connect. That is why the word of the Lord is saying, you have not been this way before. That's to tell you that you can pursue it. Because you can never be familiar with the things of God. So, so, he, so, so the Spirit of the Lord is already preparing the people. Right there. And if someone would please post Joshua chapter 3 and verse 4 on the screen. For the benefit of those who do not have their Bibles next to them. Joshua chapter 3 and verse 4. The Lord is saying here by His Spirit, there will be a space between you and the ark. My God. Mm -hmm. And He says, uh, uh, Come not near unto me, that you may know the way by which you must go. For you have not passed this way heretofore. Mm -hmm. So you've not passed this way before. You're not accustomed to it. You don't know it. It's new. It's different. It may feel like an alien, but the Lord is telling you, listen, it's not, a, it's not this is not coming from outer space. This wow. is me. Yes. Yes. This yes. is me. You just have not experienced this yes. before. So yeah. trust me and keep following my presence. Yeah. 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 Then you see, Christianity becomes religion when we do the same things over oh, and over, over yeah. and over yeah. again. Yeah. That is yeah. why somebody says, I do it religiously. Yeah. Because it's just the same thing you are doing. Yeah. But God is not a religion. No. Mm. no. You see, God is not a religion no. because you did not see it in the former church where you wow. used to be before does not mean it's not God. Because you were not brought up that way does not mean it's not God. Yeah. It's true. I tell people all the time, God has billions of ways by which he can reveal himself to yes, us. Yes, yes. God doesn't always come the same way. Yes, yes. That is not God. And, and, and I, find, I find, it's just, oh Lord, this is but, 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 but you see, before you get there, this no, wait, but before you get there, remember that the children of Israel, remember the children of Israel. I'm sorry, but when no, you wait, get nah. the prophet and prophetess together, it's amazing. Yes. 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 Remember the children of Israel. Now, if there was any people who would be used to the presence of God, would be the children of Israel. Because God was with them from the beginning. God moved with them through Abraham. God moved with them through Isaac and Jacob. God was with them in Egypt. God brought them out of, the, of Egypt and were with God for 40 years. They saw different sides and different aspects of God. But here God is telling them, you have not been this way before. So what have we been doing this 40 years? <laughs> Another level. Another level. Yeah. 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 So 2020 
is another level. Yes. So don't get Amen. used to, don't get familiar with the presence of God. Amen. Yeah. Wow. And, and, and you see, something else that just, it just bamboozles me, it's right there in verse 3. You know, we're talking about how to prepare for the cross of a night, how to prepare for the new year. So just in case you just joined us and you missed out on, on the prophet's announcement a little earlier, we're giving you a few points on how to prepare. Amen? Amen. So in verse 3 of Joshua chapter 3, he, he, the Bible says, And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the ark of the Lord your God, when you see the presence of the Lord your God, Amen. Mm -hmm. Many times when we go to church, we're looking for the priest before we find the presence. The presence, yes, my God. For the presence. My wow. God, wow. my God. So we miss out on the prophetic word wow. because we're looking at the vessel. Yes. No, I, never yeah. saw, I never saw it like that. I never saw it like that. Wow. Wow. Is it when you see the act, when you see the act, the presence of God? Now, let me read it again. Say, when you when see you the see Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, and the priest and the, the Levites who are bearing it. Yeah. So you're supposed to be looking for the presence yeah. first before wow. you look for the priest. Yeah. So, so, so we have missed it yeah. because we mm. go to church. You know, mm. many years ago, I remember my husband said this to me. He said, uh, he came back from a trip from the United States, and he said to me, he said, you know, you won't believe what's You're happening. You're in the United, United States, States now. I'm in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God, because, because I, had, I told Father many years ago, I said, the United States is not for me, because that's not how you've taught me about yourself. But here's the report I got. In the United States, people go to church depending on where they come from. If you're African-American, you go to a church that's pastored by an African-American minister. Mm -hmm. If you're from Africa, you go to a church that's pastored by a minister from Africa. Mm -hmm. And then they even have them broken down to tribes. And I thought, what kind of church is that? The church is divisive, yeah. I thought, yeah. what kind of church is that? But now we can understand why it's that way. It's because we have missed out on Joshua chapter 3 and verse 3. We are looking for the priest. We're not looking for the for presence, the presence wow. of God. So the way we're supposed to know where to go is we must first look for the, the ark of the covenant, of which carries the That's presence right. of God. That's right. And then we will see the priests, the Levites, that are bearing. Carrying the presence. Yeah. Jesus. That's Jesus. We're talking about yeah. that some yeah. other time. My yeah. God. Yeah. My God. Yeah. That just yeah. 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 shut us yeah. down. Yeah. 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 Amazing. My mm. God. So if you are just mm. tuning in, we are yeah. talking about the cross overnight that is going to be taking place on yes. December the 31st yes. at 10 p.m. right here at Christ Image International Church. Yes. And not only here, but also our churches in Southern Africa, we are going to be having the cross overnight as well. And I'll be coming live to South Africa, live to Botswana. Praise the Lord. Yes. So yes. I want you to tune in, join us for this a memorable cross overnight. Oh, yes. Look yes. for the presence of God. Set your goals. And, uh, you know, look for the presence of God. And number three, cross over with urgency. And number four, cross over with a clean heart. Clean up your life. Clean up your heart. Wow. Joshua chapter 3 verse 5 says, Sanctify yourselves for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Wow. Which means it is time to love, it is time to bid goodbye to bitterness, for unforgiveness, yes. anger. It's time, you know, to have a pure heart. Because Matthew 5, 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Wow. Your love for God is measured by your love for people. Yes. The way you love people will tell how much you love God. Yes. So one wow. of the things that you don't want to do is to come into the presence of God with a heart that is not clean. God is a holy God. Yes, he is. Yes. Pop, let me just interject really quick. <laughs> to me, coming to this uh, to CIIC, um, I had got a, a relative and I. We we had um, we had some differences, and I went a whole year without speaking to this person. And through the course of that year, uh, I developed bitterness in my heart towards this person. I didn't have nothing against no one else in this world. Except that except one person. That, except that one person. <laughs> except that one person. And I was driving home one day, and, and the minister on the radio, she said, regardless of what happened, if somebody did you wrong, even if it wasn't your fault, apologize. That's right. She said, because your salvation is at stake. Yeah. So I realized that I was no longer willing to pay that price because the price was too high. So I had to forgive this person. 
and other people succeeding. I looked at uh, other people having, you know, you know, the life that they wanted, and 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 that's what I wanted. That was my dream. But I, I realized because my heart wasn't pure, mm -hmm. they were living the dream that I had rejected for myself. Oh, that's wow. right. That's right. Because that's my right. heart wow. was my heart was hard. Yeah. And when I when I apologized, I freed myself from that. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Right. So what I'm saying is, I had to I had to confront that. I had to conquer that. Yeah. But you cannot conquer what you will not confront. Mm. Yeah. Right. Come on. All that's right. right. And I, and I just right. wanted to, I just wanted to share that. Um, so we got to keep a pure heart. Keep a pure yes. heart, yes. especially that you are looking for a new year. Amen. Yes. God said to them, sanctify yourselves. Yes. Joshua said, sanctify yourselves because the Lord will do wonders. Yes. And that is the thing. If we come into this cross overnight with pure hearts, I promise you, God will do wonders. Amen. 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 God will do wonders. If our hearts are ready, our hearts are pure, forgive everyone who has hurt you this year. Just yes. let them go. Yes. Yeah. So that God can bless you in 2020. Amen. Yeah. And the last thing that, you know, in, in order to prepare ourselves for this crossover night that we have to do, cross over without heavy baggages. Amen. In verse 10 of this Joshua chapter 3, By this you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, the Hevites, the Hevites, the, 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 the Hittites and the Hevites and the Perizzites and Gergeshites and the Amorites, the Jebusites and all the Heights and Ites and Ties. <laughs> these were, ah, uh, my God, my God. You see, these were hidden devils, yeah. hidden ghosts that Israel failed to defeat mm. in 40 years of going through their wilderness experience. Even in the days of Moses, the man of God, the children of Israel could not defeat these people. Wow. 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 They always, these people, they always came back, you know, as a problem to the Israelites. Mm. Every now and again. There are some hidden ghosts in our lives that will not let us go. Mm. Every time we want to move forward, these hidden ghosts will show up again. Oh, you can say that again. Yeah. But this time God is saying, and, and to be honest, some of these hidden ghosts will be your character. Right. Yes. Some of these hidden ghosts is what is destroying your marriage, destroying yes, your relationship. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't get past them. Anytime you want to bring... I mean, I know people who, you know, who look for a church this year, 2019, and they started going to church. But these hidden devils showed up. Showed up. Three months later, they left the church. And some of them are not going to church right now. The hidden devils... The hidden devils that have always been after them, that has made them move from church to church, is still haunting them everywhere they go. Amen. Amen. Wow. This night I want to pray for somebody that is watching me. And you are saying, true man of God, these hidden devils, these hidden ghosts have been a problem in my life. Mm. Mm. Tonight I release you from every hidden devil that is molesting you in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the power of God will come upon you. Yes. As we yes. prepare to cross over, yes. that every hidden ghost that has tormented your life, the devils that your mother did not defeat, oh, the wow. devils that your father did not defeat, the devils that your family members did not defeat, the devils that you have failed to defeat. I love what God said here. God said, and I will drive them out from before you. That is what is going to happen in 2020. Amen. God himself will drive out every hidden Amen. ghost. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. As you come into the presence of God, the presence of God will chase all these hidden devils. That's why you have to be here. That's why you have to be here. That's why you have to be here. That's why you cannot afford to miss this. And we're really not sharing this uh, like professionals. This is not something... Um, no, it's not psychology. It's not, no. it's not psychology. This is, no. these are, these are, this is a reality. That right. we, this is something we have experienced. We see the Spirit of the Lord by the presence of the Lord constantly unveiling all of these hidden sights and eyes, you know, in, the, in our lives and how He Himself drives them away. Yes. But that was but only possible because, of the because presence. we came into His presence. But, but you see, these things that we're talking about, these are cycles. These are, cycles. What do you call them? Patterns? They are patterns. These are patterns in people's lives. Yes, they are. Yeah. Have you discovered that the same 
thing where you fell last time is where you fell this time. Yes. It's where you keep falling the same thing. These are cycles. These are cycles. This is cycles. Only the presence of God can drive them out. It, it could be anger. Yes. It could be fear. Yes. It could be unforgiveness. Yes. It could be some some kind of emotional baggage that you are carrying. Yes. And that's why God is saying to the children of Israel that every baggage, you must leave behind every baggage because you cannot enter into 2020 with baggage. Yes. I mean, people are so angry in our times. People are so yes. bitter in our times yes. that they can do anything to make you know that they are angry with you. They can go on social media. Yes. They can yes. write. They can yes. send true. text messages. They can, I mean, you, you see people's anger all the time, everywhere. Now, those are weights. That's to tell you that there are people who are not resting. Mm. Yeah. No. Wow. Because as long as you have issues mm. in your heart mm. Right. Mm. against people, you cannot rest. You can't yes. sleep at night. Right. Yes. Right. There are people who are heavily burdened. That's why Jesus said, come unto me. Mm -hmm. All you who labor and are heavy laden. Yes. And sometimes we're looking for people to put some of these burdens on. That's right. Yeah. And then when somebody says, I'm not prepared to take some of your burdens, you get angry with them. And you add to more burden on your life again. Wow. Come unto me. Jesus wants to give you rest. And that is why I'm so excited about this, you know, um, cross overnight. Because yes. some burdens are going to be lifted. Amen. Jesus died on the cross. Yeah. He took away the burdens. So that you and I don't have to carry these burdens again. Yes. Yes. I love that hymn, the songwriter who said, Our burdens were lifted on Calvary. Yeah. Jesus took every burden. Mm -hmm. Jesus took all this anger. Jesus took all this malice. Jesus took all this pretense. Mm -hmm. Jesus took all these lies. And Jesus mm -hmm. took all this evil. And he took away all these mm -hmm. evil patterns around our lives. Mm -hmm. Why do we have to carry them on us again, even though we call ourselves Christians? Mm -hmm. I wow. prophesy to somebody that is watching me. When are you going to let go of these evil patterns? Yeah. When are you going to let go of these burdens yeah. so that Jesus can give you true yeah. peace? Yeah. So that yeah. Jesus can give you the right freedom, the right deliverance that you really need in your life. Yeah. That's right. Crossing over without the heavy baggage. I just want to say this. Ten seconds. I want to look in your eyeballs and I just want to tell you that that many people die because of what they eat. My God. Yeah. Meaning their diet. But even more people are dying because of what's eating them. Mm, my God, my God, my so God. So please do not go into the new year with, with past hurts and past disappointments. Yes. Yeah. You got to let it go. Forgive and let go. You got to forgive let and let go. go. Yeah. Forgive and let it go. And I want to yes. piggyback on that. Um, I want to give a real quick personal testimony. And this has been years back. Um, I can remember that I have, was going through a really hard time and I remember standing in the front of the mirror just really crying and asking God to reveal me to me. Wow. You know, because wow. a lot of times we want to put everything on everyone else as the prophet was just saying. And so as I stood there crying and asking God to reveal me to me, I started looking and I saw a person in that mirror that was angry, that was wow. bitter. Mm -hmm. And why I say that person is because I didn't even recognize who I had became. Yes. Mm -hmm. My normal personality was loving and sweet yeah. and kind, but because of the things that I had gone through that I hadn't addressed, I, was, I had became a very bitter person. Mm -hmm. And so God has showed me that. And I start praying and asking God to heal my heart because he's the only one can do it. And it's not right. an overnight process. Mm -hmm. it, it, it took a lot of studying his word. It took a lot of praying. It took a lot of, be, you know, to be delivered from that past hurt and pain. Mm -hmm. and, and once I released it, I mean, I just, you know, felt like a new person in myself again. And then I had to go back to those people and apologize to how I treated them mm -hmm. based on me. And wow. things that I do. That's right. And so That's right. I'm encouraging you, to, and I encourage all, every time I go across someone to to do the mirror experience. Mm -hmm. Truly look in the eyes at the person looking back at you. Yes. Look at yourself. Look deep within, and ask God, show me me. Mm -hmm. Show me how oh, I yes. can make changes. And, and also the enemy, and I'll be throwing that the enemy ahead, this year. Ahead, ahead, <laughs> the enemy this year was a um, he had started attacking me. Um, God was trying to use me in a, in a, you know, in a different level in my life. And, and um, I started being under attack. And I didn't know at the time that I was under a spiritual attack. 
Wow. But the enemy wanted me to react in the old. Mm. He wanted me to react. The with old this, man. The, the old, old man. man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with the mm. old man, with the tongue, with, mm. you know, with all those things. But God said, no, this is a spiritual warfare. You're in spiritual warfare, and I need you to be silent, and I need you to be still. I got this battle. Yes. And let me tell you, it was the most hardest thing that I ever had to do. Yeah. But I had to be still, and I had to wait on the Lord. And there were times when I said, Lord, can I speak now? Can I defend myself? Can I say something? He says, no, I got you. And, and you guys, I want you to know, it wasn't a month or two months. It, it took almost all of this year. I, I had, I said a few months ago, just really got out of that battle. But I stayed in prayer. I, through tears, through frustration, people thought I was crazy because I wasn't responding in the old, but I knew that was the attack of the enemy. He wanted that old man to rise up. Wow. But I had to sit back and let, let the spirit take over. And I can tell you that in doing that, I asked God, I need you to give me peace. When I start feeling weak, God, I need you to give me your peace. And he did. He gave me his peace. And I mean, things just start shifting and changing in my life. And when I tell you that the, the blessings that God have given me this year, just from me being obedient, even when I was looking like I was probably the most stupidest person on this earth and not responding the way people thought I should respond, not defending myself, God blessed me. I mean, beyond what I could ever think, he blessed me with a new home. Amen. In, in that new home, and I'm going to be finished in a minute, but it's, it's just I, my heart is heavy. In that new home, it was things that I wanted, but I couldn't afford. Jesus. And, and something led me to go online, and I found a house that was built with everything that I, my heart desired in that home. It had wow. every upgrade that it was. And I ended up putting an offer in, and it wasn't anything but God that let me get that house Way Amen. below the value of what they were asking wow. for that yes. house. Yes. Yes. Wow. Way below wow. Wow. And even when the enemy tried to attack me again to say, no, you're not going to get it. They wanted this big down payment. And I said, I can't do it. And so it seemed like every door was closing. And I can remember driving down the street and I said, Lord, I know you didn't bring me this far to leave me. Mm -hmm. I need you to open a door that only you can open and close the doors that need to be closed. If it's not your will, but I believe it is a, by the way I received it, then I need you to open a door. That night, I spoke with the loan officer. She gave me the house note I wanted. She gave me the down payment that I wanted. Wow. And then even, you know, I mean, everything just laid out smoothly. Yeah. So I just want to encourage someone to be faithful to God because he is a faithful God. Yeah. And, like, and like Papa said, let that baggage go. It's so it easy. Go. It's so yeah. easy for me to forgive and truly mean it from my heart. Yes. It's not for the other person. It's for you. Yes. Right. Exactly. Forgive and go on. Don't worry about it. It's not even worth it. That's right. It's yeah. not worth what God has for you. That's he said right. he wants to do a new thing in our life. Forget the past. He wants to do a new thing. So in this 2020 season, let him come and do a new thing. Come and also join us yes. for the crossover night. As you heard, we're excited. You heard yes. what's going to happen at crossover night. Yes. And so we're truly excited about it. You see how we get all excited about God's <laughs> word. You know, everybody wants to talk. Yeah. But um, thank you guys for allowing me and the audience and here for just giving me my thank testimony. You. And I pray that it has encouraged someone. Amen. 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 Yeah. Well, I just want to come back to Joshua 3.10 again and say and read it. And Joshua said, Hereby you shall know that the living God is among you. The cross of the night is on the 31st of December. Amen. It's going to be December the greatest night of the yes. year. Yes. You don't want to miss it. Yes. It's going to be a night after you followed those five steps Prophet gave a little earlier. After you follow those steps and you come in, Joshua chapter 3 and verse 10 says, Hereby you shall know that the living God is among you. It's a night of demonstration. It's a night of power. It's going to be a night of praise and worship. It's going to be dynamic. It will be electric. You cannot afford to miss it. I look forward to seeing you there. Just before we end our broadcast tonight, 
It's very important to prepare yourself for this uh, cross overnight. Invite your friends, invite family, invite everybody. You've heard everybody has said it all already. D come dressed up, looking good, looking good. Remember, it's a celebration. Yes, Amen. The, you see, the way you dress is the way you want to be addressed. Amen. That's right. So, That's right. Uh, right. You are believing God that 2020 is going to be your, the year that you are going to become a millionaire. Come yes. dressing like yes. a millionaire. Yes. Right. Yes. Amen. If you want to look, you want to be a business owner, come dressing like a business owner. Yes. Don't come like you are ready to go to bed. <laughs> come looking like what you want to be yes. in 2020 because everything we do is prophetic. It's a celebration. Look prophetic. Look like a business person. Look successful. Look blessed. Yes. And come expecting a miracle. Yes. On that night, we are going to be bringing out the miracle breakthrough honey. Amen. And this honey is going to be a life changing honey experience. Yes. If you have never enjoyed what it means to have a sweet life, a successful life, a better life, this crossover night is going to be for you. And this honey, you will use it for the rest of 2020. God spoke to me. He said, pray over this honey, bless it, and say some things into this honey. Mm -hmm. Because I am about to visit my people in a new way. Amen. I will show you scripture. Amen. The Bible talks about the wealth of the honey and the butter and the milk. And all of these precious things mm -hmm. that represent wealth and prosperity. Mm -hmm. So the breakthrough honey will be coming out on December 31st. Somebody say breakthrough honey. Breakthrough honey. So I am excited. And everywhere you are going to go in 2020 with the use and the application of this honey, something will change. You will write to me. You will tell me your testimony. Amen. So I am Amen. excited about this. And we look forward to seeing you on December the 31st, 10 p.m. is the time, right here at Christ Image International Church in Wells Branch. The address again is going to be on the screen right now, so you don't miss the location. Don't forget we have an evangelist from India. Yes. Amen. This evangelist works with Maurice Cirillo, and some of you know Dr. Maurice Cirillo, the great Jewish evangelist. And uh, we are going to be ministering together right here uh, on that night. So it will be a wonderful time. Can we just pray for our yes. viewers tonight, our audience, and everyone that's been watching us? I don't know what you are believing God for, but one prayer you want to make tonight is, Lord, prepare me for this crossover. Yes. Prepare me for 2020. Yes. Prepare me, Lord. I need something better. I need a better life. I need a bigger miracle. I need something in my life that is going to make people shout. That's going to make people worship and glorify God. My life in 2020 will not remain the same like it has been in 2019. And I join my faith tonight with your faith eh, that your life will be different. That your family will be different. Relationships will be different. Like we talked about, no baggages, no baggages, no carryovers in the name of Jesus. You are crossing over. You are not carrying over. In the name of Jesus, uh, our Father and our God, we stand in agreement tonight. For all those who are watching us on around the world, receive a miracle. Receive a blessing. Receive the power of God. Receive deliverance. Receive a visitation. Receive a miracle. Receive your healing. Uh, I stand in this office as a prophet of God and I agree with you for a breakthrough for a healing in your body a healing in your body from your head to your toes receive a miracle financial miracles right now as I'm praying uh, uh, there's something called there's something called miracle money people you are going to receive gifts uh, in the name of Jesus money will appear in your bank account uh, somebody will receive gifts uh, somebody will receive favor somebody will receive connection in the name of Jesus like Amy received fulfillment of a prophecy I pray that your prophecy that is over your life will be fulfilled in this cross overnight father we thank you for all that you have done and for all our viewers in jesus mighty name we pray amen so we will see you on 
December the 31st at the cross overnight. Come excited. Yes. Come dressed up very well. Amy, what's your last word to the people? Listen to the message. Have faith. Use the oil and water faithfully. Meditate on God's word. And you will grow within the Holy Spirit. My Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Misha, what's your last word? Come. Experience something different. Come with expectations and follow the directions given by the prophet. Amen. Amen. What's your last word, my wife? My last word really is come and be a part of transforming lives. Uh, December the 31st is going to be the most beautiful night of yes. the year. You don't Amen. want to miss it. Amen. Sister Tanya. My words are, don't forget to write your list. Come with an expectancy. That's right. And uh, we look forward to seeing you Amen. on the 31st Amen. at 10 o'clock. Amen. That's right. I just want to say, come with an uh, expectation. Come come expecting. Uh, come on empty because you're going to leave full. Amen. Amen. And, and, and don't miss the message because of the messenger. Come with, come with an open heart and an open mind. Come ready to receive. Amen. So write your list. Yes. All the things you don't want to see that you saw this year. Amen. Yes. And the things that you want to see in 2020. Amen. And I am going to agree with you and my God will see you through. Amen. Amen. God bless you and bless we love you, you and our audience. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Good night. Good night.